Once total revenue and total cost are defined, defining profit is pretty straightforward. Profit, which is oftentimes referred to as pi, is just total revenue, the money that you're bringing in, minus total cost, your cost that you have going out. So profit's just what's left over. Profit can be either positive or negative, and a negative profit is just referred to as a loss. Furthermore, economists make an explicit distinction between what's called accounting profit and economic profit. Accounting profit is simply dollars in minus dollars out, and it's what most of us think about when we hear the word profit. So we have accounting profit is just total revenue, or dollars in, minus our explicit costs that we talked about before, those things that we're physically writing a check, cash, giving a credit card for. Economic profit, on the other hand, counts all opportunity costs as costs in the profit calculation. So like we said before, well, economic profit, again, is just the money we're taking in, but now minus our opportunity costs. And opportunity costs include not only the explicit costs that are counted here, but also those implicit costs of foregone opportunities. For example, if I were to give up a $50,000 a year job in order to farm apples for a living, I would have an opportunity cost of $50,000 that accounting profit ignores. Therefore, if I took in $100,000 per year in revenue and had $40,000 in monetary or explicit costs, my accounting profit would be 60000 but my economic profit would only be 10000 because it would also count the $50,000 a year I gave up in my current job as a cost of a foregone alternative. For this reason, we can see that economic profit is less than accounting profit because economic profit takes into account a wider definition of costs. And just like we said before that in economics, whenever we're talking about cost, you can assume that we're talking about opportunity cost. Whenever we're talking about profit, you can safely assume that we're talking about economic profit. Unlike accounting profit, Economic profit measures the extra profit a firm gets compared to its next best option. For this reason, economic profit is very helpful in decision-making calculations because if your economic profit is positive, you're doing strictly better than you could in an alternative scenario. If your economic profit is negative, you're doing strictly worse than you could in an alternative scenario. And if your economic profit is zero, then you're doing exactly as well as you could in an alternative scenario. Lastly, we can take this profit equation and rearrange it a little bit to form a different setup that's going to be really helpful to us when we start looking at profits and losses graphically. Here, we'll start with the original equation that profit is just total revenue minus total cost. And we note that total revenue is just price times quantity. We also did a little trick here where we didn't actually change anything. We just multiplied by quantity and then divided by quantity. We can say that total cost is just quantity times total cost divided by quantity. Well, what you notice here is that this quantity here is just quantity times average total cost. If we factor out a Q, we can see that profit is also equal to our quantity times price minus average total cost. And you can think of this intuitively as profit being equal to how many things you're selling times what we'll call the average markup. On each item. Where markup is just how much your price is exceeding your average total cost of production. When we come back and look at profit graphically, this is the setup that we're going to use because it has a specific interpretation on our diagrams.